it's like, I can't believe, like, how mean people are, especially, like, discriminating, like, they pretty much were discriminating against me for my skin tone. How does that Barbie like taste? Mm. Do you want barbecue on it? Hmm. Anyway, we are hanging out. Happy Friday. And I'm going to play dominoes after I pick up. Yeah. yeah. Keyword pick up. No. Go put those on the other side then. She's kind of hungry. This girl, she didn't want to take her first nap. Whoa. I need to fix my hair. She acts in a cray cray. She poops, poop in her pants. Throwing a fit at lunchtime? I can't handle this anymore, guys. Say hi. Are you excited for the baby? Mama. Baby? Mama. Baby? Mama. Is there a baby coming? Mama. The baby's coming, guys. She's coming. <laughs> I got a text this morning from my mother-in-law saying that basically Olivia was breached so okay come up so basically um, they were gonna induce her they were gonna turn her do like a version and then induce her we're just waiting to hear more um, Christine's doing good she's um, I'm not sure if she's gonna end up getting epidural Who knows? sometimes with induction it's really uncomfortable I didn't get epidural with Jonah when I got induced but um, then again, it was like I was really, really pushing to do things natural. Uh. <laughs> Are you ready for the baby? You gotta go see the baby. Anyway, ugh, by the time you see this, she's probably gonna have the baby. They said 12, 24 hour induction process. I don't know. Jonah said that he was gonna clean up the whole living room. And, you know, he was like, if I clean up the whole living room, I get to play dominoes. I was like, okay, that sounds great to me. That was like 15 minutes ago that he said that. And he keeps getting distracted by blues clues. This girl be acting a crack right over there. Ellie, are you ready for bed? Okay, but you haven't even cleaned. So she has to go to bed. That's just that. What was that? It like rolled over here. It landed on your awesome little coloring thing. You don't want to ruin that. Jonah, show me what we had. What was it? Um, some food. <laughs> breakfast. Breakfast? No, breakfast. No, we had burgers. Did you like it so far? Yeah. Why don't you try to finish up, take a couple bites of my, oh, what do you have, onion ring? Why don't you take a bite of that broccoli? No more news from Brian's sister. Hopefully she's doing okay. I know that's kind of difficult to be yeah. induced. I'm gonna play domino. Jonah, uh, why don't you just? You do a bath. Yeah, why don't you go do a bath and then go play dominoes? I'll get it ready for you. Oh my God, I'm so emotional. It is a blessed day, blessed Friday. I'm ready for the weekend. Tomorrow I'm going to the gym. I'm blue, da ba -de da ba da. Whoa, and I'm yellow, yeah, 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 yellow. Brian's been working a lot from home on the weekends because um, we're trying to save up money to buy a house. And I've been like so discouraged because I just want to move. But we have to wait because we don't want to get a mortgage. So we're going to pay for our house with cash. And so whatever we get for this house, since this house is paid off, plus whatever we've been saving. So we've been saving a lot and for a while. So, but it's so discouraging when like every one of my neighbors is like moving. I'm like, really? Come on. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. I will see you in the morning when I go to the gym. Or before then or something. See you later. It is Saturday and I promised you guys I was gonna say hello to you guys in the morning. And I can't get my shoe on. I do the number one thing they probably tell you not to do when wearing sneakers is slide my foot out of it each time so then I have to squeeze it back in it. And I'm headed off to the gym with Elbel. 
she was kind of being a little cranky. I think she's got another tooth coming in because she's really snotty. She was having a hard time sleeping and then playing with her, you know, biting her hands and stuff like that. So we're headed off. And I had to put my seatbelt on because safety first, guys. I'm going to Zumba class. Starts like a, around 11. I already ate breakfast. Be proud of me. I had eggs and I had avocado. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a blessed Saturday. I will see you later when I get back. And I'm going to be all sweaty. Okay? And I like Jen Johnson. You guys know who she is? She's good. Anyway, we are hanging out at a red light. Not in the red light district. Which is, that's kind of awkward. How's your Saturday going? It's alright. I was just asking Brian if, like, basically asked him if he thought it was weird. And he goes, hmm. That's pretty much Brian's answer to everything. It's just so funny because Brian is, like, so opposite of, like, how I am. So, wouldn't you think so? What, am I opposite you? Yeah. Yeah, some things. He gets kind of hyper, guys. You guys just don't see it. I just picked up like an iced coffee at Dunkin's and it's like a coconut cream pie one. It's like really good. Hashtag not sponsored, but hashtag I will be sponsored if you want to contact me, Dunks. We're headed to Aldi to do some shopping before church and the kids are in tow. Jonah's just hanging out, right, Jones? Jonah, why are you spacing out? We just saw somebody with like a Jeep that had, um, Hold on. Jonah, what did it have? No. Window. Or doors. And it was like, wannabe. What was the Jeep? A Cherokee? No, it, was, yeah, it was a Jeep Cherokee. It was like an old Cherokee, but trying to be like a Wrangler. But we will see you guys later. Hope your Saturday's <laughs> blessed. I could use a vacation. Yeah. What? What one? I play with my oh. You like your little weird pump because you're a weirdo. Uh, <laughs> we just got home. We got some groceries. Ooh, look at my voluptuous curls. That's good. Ellie is playing. She goes, that, that. And then she's getting mad because I didn't recognize what she wanted. You having fun? Stay over here. Ew. <laughs> it's so squeaky. <laughs> Elia. I don't know where your skateboard is, Jonah. Oh, is it? Like freaks me out. I go down. No, you're not gonna go down that unless you sit on it. You have to push yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, soccer ball? You want the soccer ball? Yeah. Ooh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here, let me try it. Good lord. Yeah. <laughs> you having fun? Um, Eating. She give us a tour of your room. Jonah, uh-uh. No. How are you doing? I did great. You doing good? I did great. That's good. You like Blue's Clues? Yeah. Yeah? Are you having fun with your friends? Yes. Yes? Ellie, are you having a good time? Yeah? So, like... This would be worth 19 against 12. So <laughs> Christian's ready. He's got his game face on. So, <laughs> you, you get to look at your door? Yeah. All right. I know. Hey, guys. You guys know you can lick this, right? It's really salty. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. 
<laughs> Ooh, watch out, don't get punched. <laughs> this is a major stomping over here. <laughs> Good thing nobody lives below. Yeah, yeah. They'd be like, <laughs> Elliot, look at Dylan. We're at a game night. Dylan's dancing. I got two. I got two. I got two. I don't want to. Whoa, watch out, Bill. Happy Sunday, guys. I'm stuck at Walmart. Not really. I decided to come here with Brian. Whoa, and I cannot apparently drive my car. How are you? Are you doing okay? Ooh, little mermaid. Ooh, I wanted to be here when I was little. Oh, puppies! Whoa, this is like really short. Look at this bat girl. Future bat girl, right here. Mm. All right, we're gonna try to find Jonah a couple more pairs of shorts that aren't an arm and a leg. Hey, Addy. Hey. We're on a date. Yep. Got a candle and a shell. like here like over there it's a little What's bit funny is it's actually is quite a bit better just literally with just her lighting the candle though like because like, like when like the candle wasn't there like it was like oh my god yeah Ooh, that looks good you got ribs yep those look good Brian. Yep. <laughs> ready to dig in oh, yeah. So anyway, we went to this local um, fish place and it was really good. We've been wanting to try it out. And we had an awesome portrait session. I didn't take any pictures or any video while we did it, but we did one of my girlfriend's pictures. I know her because she gave me a massage whenever I was pregnant, a prenatal massage. So we took pictures of her and her family. She just got remarried this past week. So her husband's super nice, but her kids, they're so gorgeous. So. Anyway, that was really fun. I'm so excited to edit those. And next weekend we have another session. Earlier, I went and I was on Periscope because I usually try to go live like for our business. And I got this, some of the most hurtful and hateful comments on there that I have got on there in forever. It's like I can't believe like how mean people are, especially like discriminating. Like they pretty much were discriminating against me for my skin tone. One of the people said that they were sorry that I was white. One of the people said that they, um, that I need to wear a burqa and cover up, that I need to put more clothes on, that I must look pretty ugly without any clothes on. They wanted to count my freckles. They called them dots, which was very discriminating. Is your husband, what is he, Muslim? He's got a Muslim beard. And I was like, he just has a beard. I feel so much for the people that say those hurtful things because I know that they need Jesus. And so it's kind of just more encouragement for me, more confirmation that I need to keep doing what I'm doing. But it's really, really hard whenever Satan wants to use those things, use your skin color, use your appearance. You know, yes, I know I'm, I'm not like the most attractive person on the planet, but I'm also already, I'm married to somebody that thinks I'm super attractive and fun. And what does that matter, you know? I just want to tell you guys that you're so worth everything, you know, and you're so unique and God loves you no matter what you look like. And part of me thinks maybe it's a bunch of kids, maybe it's a bunch of teenagers, but you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if it was adults. So that just shows you what the state of the world is in and the ignorance people have. And I just want to encourage you guys and to let you guys know our God, Jehovah, loves you so much. He loves us so much. He loves the Gentile as much as the Jew, as much as the redhead, as much as the African American, as much as the Puerto Rican, you know? So I just want to encourage you guys because, yeah, it did hurt my feelings, you know, because I'm a sensitive person, but I'm also not like 12 anymore. And I'm not going to let Satan turn this into something he wants. I'm going to turn this around for Jesus. So. I just want to encourage you guys to keep doing what you're doing, keep doing vlogs, keep doing YouTube, keep singing, keep dancing, 
you know, keep showing your creativity. You can't change your appearance. Like, and I would never want to change myself. I am who I am. I am Kara. I love all of you guys. Thank you for all the encouraging words all the time and the love and for watching this crazy gender, you know. And no, I cannot connect to my freckles. I mean, that's just impossible. I've tried. With that being said, the question of the day is, what are you grateful for in life? For me, obviously I'm grateful for my Savior and what he did for me. But I'm grateful for my family. And I'm grateful to live in a country where we're free to do what we want to do. I'm personally grateful I can worship Jesus in freedom at church and not be persecuted. So um, I just want you guys to think on that. If you can't think of anything, that's fine. But what are you grateful or thankful for? Leave it below. But you guys have a wicked awesome night. We will see you again on Wednesday. And that's about it. Jesus loves you. He really does. Peace. Why life?